Let's take a look at replacing the turbo on this six liter power stroke engine. So we've got our new turbo here. A couple things I want to hammer several times throughout this presentation is we need to protect our new turbo by filtering the air out properly. And so we want to get good filtration. We're of course going to install a new air filter with this. We want to make sure that our tubing and our, our plumbing here is all good and sealed up properly. So we're not going to get dust or contamination into our new turbo. Also, we want to make sure that this thing's oiled properly. Check the oil feeds when the turbo is off. Make sure that it's got a good drain tube coming out of here. I've actually got this turbo sitting upside down right now. But the turbo drain is common for rusting out. Imagine that, an oil passageway that actually rusts out. But it happens. So we're going to make sure that that's good. And in order to make sure it's torqued down properly. So let's get started here. And we're going to re remove the intake ductwork here. We'll remove uh, up pipe. We're going to disconnect the batteries. That's always very important, especially when we're sneaking the turbo out. We're going to be going right over the alternator, and we don't want to touch it on that line, short anything out. And so we're going to disconnect the batteries, and let's get started. Well, now, as you can see, we've got the air box out of here. We've removed a couple of the little hoses off the Dagus bottle. Now we got to get this plastic plenum out of here. So there's the one hose clamp right at the turbo, and then there's two nuts on these studs here off by the ficum. So I'm just going to take a, a ratchet and 10 millimeter socket and loosen these two up. And once it, I've got these loosened up, we'll be able to lift this up out of the way and you'll, we'll get a straight shot at this side of the turbo. Then we'll start working on some of our down pipes off the back side. Well now we've got the plastic piece out of there. We're going to go ahead and remove the bottle just set that off to the side. I'm not going to pull the hose off, off the bottom here. What that's going to allow us to do is relocate the main engine wiring harness here. Use a bungee strap and tie it up here to the cowl. Get that up. Give us a little more clearance here above the turbo. So I'm just going to pull these two bolts right here. We'll slide this off. Remove a couple of the plastic clips and strap that up out of the way. Just give us a little more access room. Well, you can see we've got our harness kind of pulled up out of the way here. Now I'm going to pop the electrical connector off for the actuator here. Use a screwdriver or pick. Just kind of roll that up off there. We'll pull that out of the way. We can set that harness out of the way. I'm going to take my 10 millimeter ratcheting end wrench and I'm going to remove the two bolts here that hold the oil feed line to the top of the turbo. So we'll loosen those up, I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm also going to take an extension and my 716 socket here to the clamp on the back of the turbo here, and I'm going to loosen this clamp off the back here and remove my pipe from the back of the turbo. Well now you can see we've got our oil feed line disconnected, we've got our actuator unplugged, We've got the, the clamps released on both sides of the turbo here. And so now we're just left with the mounting bolts. Now don't be surprised if some of these are snapped off. It's relatively common. And it's difficult to see here, so I can't get a good camera shot at it. But there's a couple different mounting bolts here, so we're going to remove those. Then we'll pick it up off the drain tube here, and then we'll be ready to sneak the turbo out of the opening right in, in here. Again, we need to be very careful not to damage the wiring on the alternator as we sneak it out. All right, after a little bit of prying and uh, talking and wiggling here, we got this thing broken loose from, from the pipes here. So next thing is we've got to do a little bit of twisting, turning, pulling, and we're going to squeeze it up out of the opening here. Do a little bit of rotating and twisting to get this up out. There we have it, our turbo is now out. Now, again, we need to make sure that this uh, drain tube is not rusted out. Let's go ahead and just replace that. And then we're gonna reinstall a new O-ring, lubricate it here. We're gonna make sure all of our, our flanges here are good and tight, not bent. And you can also now see where the three bolt holes are. There's one that comes off the backside here. That's a pretty difficult one to access. The one that was underneath the turbo, and then this one on the front side. So you can see where our three mounting bolts 
were originally. All right, well, that being said, let's go ahead, do a little bit more digging at that drain tube, and we're ready to install our new turbo. So we've got our new turbo set in here. Now I'm gonna drop it into place. And as you can tell, before we pulled this off with the cab on the truck, customer decided to do a little additional work. So we got the cab up and we get a lot better access. So it's gonna help you see what we're doing here a little bit better. Now, remember I talked to you before about making sure that the turbo drain tube down below is rust free. Good idea to replace that. And also you wanna make sure that the oil feed line is supplying good oil to our new turbo. On top of that, we're gonna install a brand new air filter, ensure that this turbo is well taken care of. Now, before we get in here, we've got the Y pipe, the down pipe, everything is loose here. That's gonna really help us set this thing into place. It can be very tricky, especially again, with a cab on. So, I'm gonna take some time here, set this on that drain tube. We don't wanna roll the, the oil seal on that. So we'll set that down into place. And at the same time, kind of line it up here as best we can. We're gonna have to do a little bit of wiggling and some maneuvering here to get this all set down into place. There, I'm on my pins here. I'm lined up on the drain tube. My Y pipe is good. So now I can slide my clamps over and I've got a block of wood holding this down pipe in place. So I can pull that out, of, out here. Before we tighten anything down though, we wanna get our clamps on, get everything set here. It's a lot easier to do with a loose turbo. Once our clamps are in place, we're, we're positive we've got everything sealed up. Then we're gonna go and mount our turbo bolts in place and lock it down. All right, well, here's a close up. We've got the clamp off. We wanted to show how this pipe should fit tight with a turbo. Now, when you put the clamp on, that'll be good and sealed off. Otherwise, it's gonna result in an exhaust leak here. It's not gonna sound like your typical exhaust leak, but rather a high pitched whistling sound. So it's very important that we get this lined up properly and clamped down. And now we'll take a close up at the down pipe on the back of the turbo here. And you can see there's a little hook that holds it in place here. And we wanna get it locked in place properly. We'll have the clamp installed there. But again, it's important that we get a good, tight, sealed connection here, preventing any exhaust leaks. 